Um, I know we look at screens all day, so we're not going to do a, a PowerPoint for this, right? We're just going to chat. So, um, most of you probably at least have seen me in Hatton Granville at some point. Um, I'm here today to talk about Agile Learning Institute. I know that word is loaded, right? But we're going to talk about what it actually is. It is not an institute to learn Agile methodology. What it is is a group of people. Um, I did not found it but Mike Story founded it, and it's a group of mostly people who worked in the industry for a long time who retired, who decided to basically just give their time to teach people um, to code in an agile way, right? So it works with their schedule. So we got the college route, we got the code school route, but not everybody can do either one of those, right? Um, so this lets us have, you know, curriculum, which we use engineer kit. Um, let me shout out Gavin yeah, here for part of it. And we just have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. It's free, they don't pay anything, they let it, we don't make anything for people there. We, you know, pay for the stuff ourselves until we get some donations and then mentors bring their time in. Um, so there's, we've had a lot of success. Um, lots of people are, are to the point now getting jobs. It's pretty new nonprofit, but we are in need of mentors. So I know that sounds really big and scary, but a lot of these people are so, Starters, you know, a lot of them are not brand new techs. So most of them come in with some kind of background. So it could be 30 minutes a month, right? It could be, uh, so you can meet one time a month, once every two weeks, right? So it's an hour, it means 30 minutes. Uh, once a week, or if you just like have some time and really want to do it, you can spend some more time. Uh, but the payback is a lot. It's really fulfilling when you can pour into somebody and get that return. You've seen them grow face-to-face -face and you're seeing them succeed in things. Uh, we have a couple different areas you can go down, you know, different paths. You don't have to specialize in what they're learning in, right? So, but you do get the opportunity to grow yourself because we know that when we teach other people, we grow. Like when we try to explain our code, we figure it out, right? Same thing. Um, so I will write the information on the board back there, but I would like to invite you guys to at least check it out. Um, and see if you can kind of pour back into the community. Um, and the people we serve, you know, it's underserved, but in South Carolina and South, we actually serve the Appalachian region, so that's like a lot of people, right? It's not just usual metrics. We serve um, uh, towns that the mill is closed down, right? So there's no jobs there. Uh, we work with a different nonprofit that actually teaches people to code in prison, right? And then they come out and learn code no internet, which is crazy awesome, but they're the most determined people that you will meet, right, because they're, they're going to make it happen. Um, and just lots of different groups like that. So you'll find some more EGIs. I ask you to look into it. And also, um, the Director of Women in Code, Sakara and Emily are here with Women in Code as well. Um, obviously, not all y'all are women here, but you're welcome to input. We definitely love community support. Just, you know, be an ally. Come get a talk with us, get some resources, whatever you need. Um, we are doing a 3D printing class with the Alternative High School, which is super fun. Um, I don't know how long, but many more times we're going to be able to do it because they, the state like cut funding for that kind of stuff. We do it for free, but there still has to be somebody to organize. So um, that's also very fulfilling. There's lots of ways to get back in the community. Um, I would be more than happy to help anybody find a way that's going to work with their life and then to give back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.